In this video, we are going to learn about the area and perimeter of similar polygons. So remember that if two polygons are similar, or if any two shapes are similar, what that means is that they're the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So one of the shapes is like an enlargement of the other. So let's draw two similar rectangles on our paper. Okay, so these are two rectangles and we can tell that they're similar because the length of the base in each case is twice the length of the height. So two times two gives you four and three times two gives you six. The scale factor or the ratio between the sides for these two rectangles is three over two. And the way you get that is you take the height of the larger rectangle and the height of the smaller rectangle and divide them. So that's three over two. Notice that if you looked for the bases, six over four, six over four also reduces to three over two. So it's consistent. Now let's figure out the perimeter and area of each of these rectangles and notice if there's any pattern between the ratios there and if those ratios relate at all to the scale factor. So to find the perimeter of each rectangle, we just have to add up all four sides. So for the smaller rectangle, the perimeter will be 12 units. And for the larger rectangle, the perimeter will be 18 units. And again, that's just gotten by adding up 6 plus 3 plus 6 plus 3. So what's the ratio between the two perimeters? Well, we want to look at the ratio between the larger perimeter to the smaller perimeter because that's what we did for the scale factor. So the ratio of the perimeters would just be 18 over 12. And 18 over 12 reduces to 3 over 2 if you divide both the numerator and the denominator by 6. So what this means is that the scale factor and the perimeter ratio will always be the same. So whatever the ratio is between corresponding sides for the two shapes, that will be the same ratio as the perimeter. And that's because perimeter is a one-dimensional measurement, just like the length of a side is. So let's go on now to area. So the area of a rectangle is base times height. So for the smaller rectangle, that's eight units squared. And for the larger rectangle, that's actually, again, 18 units squared. So now let's look at the ratio between those two areas. And again, looking at the larger area divided by the smaller area. So that gives you 18 divided by 8, which is 9 fourths. Now how does 9 fourths relate to the scale factor? Well, 9 is 3 squared, and 4 is 2 squared. So this is really 3 over 2 squared. So in general, the ratio between the areas of similar shapes is always the scale factor squared. And we would just happen to be looking at rectangles here because that's sort of an easy thing to test, but this property holds for any shape. Triangles, rhombuses, trapezoids, any shape, if, as long as they're similar, the perimeter ratio will always equal the scale factor, and the area ratio will always be the scale factor squared. So in general, if the scale factor is A over B, so in this case A over B was 3 over 2, the perimeter ratio will also be A over B, and the area ratio will be a over b squared. And keep in mind that a over b squared is the same thing as a squared over b squared. 